today we've got Mariana Alexander. Mariana is the editor of the Weekend Herald and the Herald on Sunday. Thanks for having me everybody. I'm a journalist of some decades now. I um, I have been in Auckland for probably about the last kind of 20 of those now I think. Um, various publications but I've been at the Herald now for the last three years and have been editing both those newspapers now for about the last year and a half. So. Um, lots of variety, lots of fun. Um, I'm here to tell you that you've made the, you're making the very right career choice. Don't listen to all those doomsdayers that talk about um, journalism being a sunset industry because it so isn't. And um, I guarantee if you get stuck in and you're keen on this career, you'll have a lot of um, fun, amazing fun, but also some extraordinary kind of times ahead because it is a, an extraordinary career. And you'll probably read lots of um, descriptions of technology being the great disruptor for media. And it certainly is in that it's kind of turned the financial model on, on its head. There's no doubt that there is um, financial pressures on this industry, but I think fundamentally the best thing about this industry is content, and, and great content is great content is great content, no matter whether you're telling an amazing story in words or pictures or video or on the radio or you know standing up in front of a TV camera doing a live cross when some big news is breaking. But So I, you know, I, I don't buy any of that stuff about journalism being a sunset industry at all. I think undoubtedly platforms and habits change. Um, probably the most important piece of advice I can probably give you is be flexible and be kind of happy to roll with the massive changes that this industry is, is going through and and that won't change. You know, we uh, this is a vastly different space, I guess, from when I first started, but that's actually really exciting. Uh, you know, there's so many ways you can tell your stories now, whether it be, you know, a 15 second Snapchat or a Facebook, and you know, people still do have a hunger for news. I think that's really important. Don't be freaked out <laughs> by those who will tell us that um, we won't be around for much longer because I'm sure we will, and I think we'll just be telling our stories in a different way. I reckon there's limitless stories out there, and um, we always challenge ourselves that whenever we go anywhere, whether it be a function or to meet someone or go somewhere, we've got to come back to the office with three story ideas. I think it, I mean, I think you still, you're going to need your absolute fundamental skills about how you actually gather a story and, you know, and write it and gather information. But I think fundamentally, you know, we want people now who are just, compl it's just completely natural to them to be taking a video when they're out at the scene of a story, for example, or interviewing someone and taking a video of that to go with their words. Or there might not even be any words, it just simply might be a video story. So for us, when we're looking to hire now, we're very much after people who are comfortable in all that space, you know, that there's various um, elements to, to their skill set. It isn't just simply that they know what to ask and how to write a story, it's that they're very comfortable in the technology space. Um, enthusiasm is definitely uh, the right thing. I want someone who will do absolutely anything to get a story. It's then my job to say whether you should or shouldn't do that, but actually you should be prepared to do it.